who speak passable English. And at last uh, study, Kingsley Jones Russian was, well, a little below par. So they rely a lot on communication. And it's Sonny Uller out to Emmerich. That's Patterson. Hands off! Stay on, lads. Not pretty at the moment. But everything is 10 tenths, isn't it? There are going to be some tired bodies in the second half. Shack it off. Feeds it to Artemyev. Good kick from Petri there. You can see with five minutes remaining in this half, his team are tiring. You can see, look at that chase. There's only four of them. And there's Clever. There he comes into the shot. There's a few more stragglers. They're getting tired. There's a clever kick just to get some territory. A chance to really launch another good attack. Sunniola feeding out to Emmerich. Nick Johnson. Petri again. They're making them work hard. They've gone wide. Forwards around the corner. Conrad Sunniola. Feeded out to, or should I say, Roland Sunniola, out to his brother Andrew. Hands and that time it was John van der Giesen. Look how flat they are. Yeah. That's what's going to happen. Forward passes. And Dave Pearson was in good shot of that. And he's got a demand of his team to get back and get some depth. Another handling error. But with that four-day turnaround, there are going to be some tired legs there. They've got to keep working hard. You've got to work on your depth. Get back. Especially if you haven't had the go forward from your ball carriers. You see the dominance in possession. It certainly shifted on uh, the first 10 minutes, hasn't it? Touch. Well, those stats what? were all in Russia's favour. So Shakarov with a put in, picked Ball's up by Grashev at the base. Back to Shakarov again. That tackle looked a little high from Johnson, perhaps, but the referee's happy with it. Grashev keeps on working the short side. And Antonov, well, he rather took himself into touch there, didn't he? The big lock. And that's a little bit of inexperience again. A good scrum by the USA. And the wheel wasn't. Positive wheel for the right attack. Should have gone left. It means your back row are out the game. And they forced going right. And USA were there waiting. That's Louis Stanfall. Suniola to Suniola. Emmerich out the back of the hand, and Gwenny had to wait for it. And that's gone forward. Well, it's going to be Russia, who may be going to finish this second half on the front foot, or first half, I should say. Oh, if I was Kingsley Jones, I would be saying to Dave Pearson, please, can we have some advantage? He gave nothing there. Klushnikov straight kick towards him and they've got a good back three Artemyev and Ostruska they are good runners with the ball just Time give up. them a chance but straight away blew up 11. well James Patterson is being called over here well I think he's being replaced isn't he he's had a good game a lot of ball carries a few line breaks must be due to an injury you can see he's holding his ribs so it's Blaine Scully who comes on who started at full back against Ireland at the weekend there he is the 23 year old doesn't have a club at the moment a number of these American players have had to take unpaid leave from their jobs that's the difference between it's a golf isn't it between many of the players in these sides and some at the top end receiving uh, hefty contracts around oh, Europe. It. Well, it is a big shot window for Sit these up. players. And you'll be very pleased to get Ball on the pitch. Out. Last foot, lads. No hands! Ball was out, yeah, play Well, Shakarov has got caught there and the Americans have done well to disrupt it. Well played by Kushner. There's Makovetsky. 90 seconds and they've got about... 37 metres to go, the Russians. Good ball carrying again from Grashev. Oh, and Popov has lost it forward. 
Referee's playing advantage here to the Americans. Uh, that yeah, a smart play by Grachev again. We're very quick to try and hit our runners, but sometimes it's on straight through the middle. Pop off the man guilty of the unforced error again. But as we saw in the game last night, if you get quick ball and the ball's available, sometimes you can pick straight through the middle. And there's no defence. Oh, there's James Patterson. He's got a bit of the old Hugo Southwell about him, hasn't he? Hugo Southwell, who's uh, going to be playing or is playing for uh, Wasps in the Premiership this season. And Mate Moacchiola in the rain. He's taken a couple of knocks, and I think he may have found the pace a bit fast as well. Got a bit of blood there, so they're going to make a change. It's going to be Sean Pittman who comes on. He plays his club rugby in southwest London for London Welsh. That's a nasty cut to the eye, isn't it, Moacchiola? We've got a good 15 minutes to, uh, to deal with that, but looking at the ruck, Sometimes it is on just a pick straight through the heart of it as the defences fan out. Phil McKenzie's try by Canada in the last five minutes showed that England have been good at that in the past. Nick Easter's one of those players that picks and goes so cleverly. He stood over the ball and just picks through the heart of it. It'll be interesting to see if some of those gaps appear tonight. Touch. Picked up there by Johnson. Oh, it's turned over. Here's Kushnerev. At speed there, Ostrushko over the 22. The Russians finishing pretty much as they started. Garbazov. The ball is not caught. Referee playing advantage here to the Russians. There's Prishipenko, the Please. tight head. Big, big man, Prishipenko, right on the 22. The ball is over. That's Fatakov. Oh, and it's ripped away by Clever. Great play there from the American captain. And Gwenya tiptoeing along the line, but the touch judge has his flag up. And that will be the break at the end of an exhilarating first 40 minutes. Well, everything to play for, an awful lot to talk about. The Americans lead by 10 points to three. sundry supermen we've got various wonder women we've got thunderbirds we've got batman and robin about five or six times over we've got kremlin guards by the uh, by the battalion load but not one of them can do anything about the weather it really has become dreadful over the course of half time it'll be the united states playing from right to left dave pearson took a look out of his dressing room and he said can we delay it five minutes he was only doing that ironically of course but it does serve to illustrate just how rotten the weather has turned in a matter of minutes. That northern humour. Good first start. And just shows how wet it is. Sunyula, a little wry smile, but he knows he's carried that in. Super kick. Another good start for Russia. The script's almost written for Kingsley Jones and Henry Paul. They're only seven points down. USA had, had all that possession. It only takes seconds to score a try, and it's... It's up to Russia now to build a score. Yes, New Plymouth, the home of Taranaki Rugby. The biggest name, really, that this part of the world produced. Graham Moorey, who captained the All Blacks 57 times in the 70s and early 80s. I just took a, took a look around the bar behind the standover on the far side. Plenty of pictures there of Graham Moorey. Also, Dave Loveridge, the scrum half. You remember him, he was a Taranaki player. And also, just lurking on the back row on one end of one of those pictures, around about 1980, a certain Kieran Crowley, who is coaching Canada at this World Cup. I don't think it was so much a surprise against uh, Tonga yesterday, but they are one of the biggest improvers in world rugby in action against France next week. 
Forward goes Nick Johnson. Impressive carry. Good scrum from Russia, though. Wearing 26. He was wearing three. Mate Moakiola, but went off for the blood bin. Put a new shirt on. There he is, just getting back to his feet. Petri, the try scorer to Emmerich. And Quenya. All he needs is a little gap. And he almost took it there. Offside. Penalty to the United States. Yeah, Russia have come offside. This is the hey, discipline Frank. we're talking about. In these conditions, it's almost better not to have the ball. It's so offside, difficult to get ball control. You get an arm in there. These guys are so strong now. They lift so much weight. You get an arm in there and you try and rip it out of the ball carrier. It's almost sometimes a good thing not to have the ball. As Nick Johnson we see carry so well. It's important to get over the gain line. Really important for the States to get that quick ball, as Michael said. Real speed of ball, and you could tell they're all offside. Just got to keep your discipline. Well, it's taken two and a half minutes, and the rain is all but gone. There's still a bit out there. There's John van der Giesen and his second row partner, Hayden Smith. Petri to Suniola to his brother, Andrew Suniola. There's Wiles in the lines, trying to clutch Nikov. The fullback, Ostrushko trying to drag him into touch. The touch judge on this side, the assistant referee, I should say, Carlo Damasco of Italy. Haven't they done well, counter-rucking? It was a good launch, attack by the USA. Straight back to their feet. And an impressive turnover. And that was Antonov taking the ball up. That's the 22 being defended at the moment by Russia. A trail by seven points. You can see some of the water there sitting on the surface in places. We've had a lot of rain here over the course of the last couple of weeks. Wiles having to take special care with that catch. Meeting Makovetsky and Klitschnikov together. Roland Suniola changes direction. Well, he needed a pitching wedge, and I think he put a 9-9 on that. And he almost knew, as soon as I s just watched him strike the ball there, there was a look of anguish on his face. He almost knew straight away, I've overhit that. It's got to be cool in these conditions. You've got to, there's no pressure on him at all. There's no winger there, and that's just... Well, he is frustrated, but that's not good. So important for the forwards to be trundling forward, especially as they've had such a quick turnaround. Those legs, they need to be going forward, not backwards. So Vladislav Korshinov, who had his woes in the first half with his throw into the line. And that time, well, he hit his man, but Denis Antonov couldn't take hold of it. Went backwards off red lads, then red... Yeah, lucky to get away with that. It's a good line-out option. At the back. Caution of. He hit the top of his jumper there. But clever. Couldn't get the turnover. And the first scrum by Russia was very impressive. Let's see if they can back it up. Crouch. Touch. So Alexander Shikharov. Another of those players from the Podmovsky Monino club. The Russian champions, 11 of them in the 22 today. Looks like Ostruska's going to get the ball here, get over the gain line quickly. And then I think Russia will look to spread it wide. That's Louis Stanfall, who's recently ended playing uh, in Italy at a club called Mogliano, who now play in the Super 10. What a great shove there from the Russia pack. Kushnarev had to bend down towards his boot laces to pick it up. And I think that went forward off a Russian hand. Dave Pearson certainly agrees. Lofted in the air there by Nguenya. There's Kushner after the fly half. Long pass out here. Torstrushko running across field. He's got his captain alongside him. Ostrushko is still going. Oh, bumping off two bodies. Eventually taken down by the hooker, Chris Biller, who did well to get across. What a run. I talked about him getting the ball off first phase. He made up for it there. Voitov getting knocked backwards. Shakarov, Kushnarev, the cross kick, the lining up over on the far side. Klushnikov is there, can he get there, the fullback. 
Oh, and Gwynia did well. And he gets a bit of a slap across the shoulder there from Klutchnikov. Good sportsmanship, despite uh, what is a rather more heated battle than the average. Russia showing 